It is the riot. This just in, Nikki. What? Kelly has messaged us on Facebook and says, yeah. Nikki, yeah. stay strong with me and avoid Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no Crocs for life. So we talked about Crocs, the shoes, not crocodiles, uh, yesterday during the podcast. And it continues for a tiny bit today because the people were just curious to see what was up. All right. Well, I just messaged Kelly back and said, and I quote, <laughs> she's going to cave. We no, all I'm know not. it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. Like, it's not an insult. Chris is next to me. Are you muttering, yes, I'm going to cave? Is that what you were saying? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But is yes, it, it's in the podcast. Is it so wrong for you to get Crocs? It's not. I, I don't know if I actually want them. I just want to go try it on to see what it must feel like to wear one. You want them. But I don't want to go and buy them unless it just is life changing because I'm just curious. All right. Well, isn't curiosity an okay thing? <laughs> you know what? I don't think you're supposed to kill my curiosity. Yeah, I think you're and, supposed to and allow you're supposed it to, to grow. leave it open to where if I don't want to, that's okay, and I also won't be okay. judged. And if I do, then that's okay too. Also okay. <laughs> so what else is in the podcast? Um, in the podcast today, we talk about uh, your controller. We talk. About, we talk about Nikki's burdens and how they're making her stronger. <laughs> Are you proud of your title on that one? Wait, I have to title each and every little one, and that's one that I really like. You liked, liked that. Um, so we talk about a, a breakup that's happening, mm -hmm. a Chuck E. Cheese incident that for once doesn't involve beer and fighting, um, uh, some reasons to not do laundry, um, text Ding. messages that come in, uh, <laughs> Nikki's plant growing, uh, everybody's ways and ideas for saving money. It's interesting to it see everybody's thoughts impressive. on it. Uh, and almost then, as many people chimed in as chimed in about Crocs. So almost. Crocs still beats financial freedom. That's right. <laughs> How do you how do you keep from being financially free? Invest in Crocs. Invest in, in shoes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Castlevania isn't canceled yet. A few other things. That's so, it. Hope you guys enjoy the podcast today. Tomorrow, if you listen to actual Radio U and not just the podcast, will be a Den's New Music Friday. Yes, Sean from Den should be joining us. So he'll be or should be in the podcast tomorrow uh -huh. <laughs> if everything works out. So that's something to look forward to. And don't forget to text to say hello, 877 to Radio U. Just put that you're a podcast listener and your name. And then when we're in the studio next time, we will get back with you. Anything else? Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. The definition of insanity is putting the riot on again and again and expecting a better result. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. It's called unintended consequences. You know, you make a choice and it you just you think like, oh, it, this will happen and that will happen. But then there are these other things that happen and it's not what you intended. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. I'll just tell you that Nikki is fully on her way to becoming, I don't know, a uh, defensive line probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting stronger. Is that it? You're getting stronger and way more forceful. <laughs> I am. I'm, and I'm, and like managing to maneuver and get around yeah. things and open things despite having She's a, a load to bear. <laughs> She's, uh, what do they call it? Like hit and roll? Pretty much. Kind of stuff. Nikki comes in the studio this morning. I'm sitting here because I was here first. Ah, and I hear. You win. I hear. <laughs> You have to get some force behind it. Nikki has kicked open the door. So right away, you know, her left leg or right leg getting stronger. Yeah. Because it's a kicking leg now. It is. And the door has to swing wide open. And she walks in looking like, I, I mean, she's got eight bags and a huge jug of water. Now I have my gallon water bottle and then I only have three other bags. That's it's it. Not, it's not what it looked like. But I tried to clear out some trash from my car. So I had brought it. I had <laughs> carried everything in weirdly on, you know, like one arm instead of spreading it out. Yeah. So I didn't have, like, I just wasn't as coordinated coming in. <laughs> There's a reason. There was a reason. <laughs> I'm not saying it's wrong. It was just something about it was hilarious hilarious to me and you walked in i was just like yeah it's like that <laughs> we're just trying to get in <laughs> yesterday someone was texting like oh i should get a like a bag with wheels and i was like well i don't want to get another bag even if that bag does hold all my other bags i just can't do that well you know what i saw somebody and that's luggage so <laughs> I, I saw somebody wheeling the other day was a it was like a milk crate you yeah, know yeah, like I've whatever seen that. okay 
It had wheels and an extendable like telescoping arm. Seen, so maybe you need that. I've seen the ones where it's like a it's like a briefcase that does that. Yeah. But then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should get like one bag that will rule them all. Should. But I don't I don't think I mean, that would be just as big and awkward because like here, let me get my work. Oh, no, wait, that's my would, lunch. If, <laughs> Excuse it me. It wouldn't be as awkward because then, I mean, you could just think about this. You're walking in. Uh, you're rolling all of your burdens behind you, except for the water jug, of course, <laughs> which you have in the other arm. Well, if not, you know, I do have like a weekender bag, you know, like for weekend trips. <laughs> I think maybe that'll work. It's not too big. You have a 31 bag, don't you? A what? A 31 bag. I do not have a Does 31. Does it have a big N on it? I have no. That's mine. I do not have any <laughs> That's of those. That's how you know it's no, mine. This is like, uh, it's a smaller hard case. Okay. Wheeled uh, suitcase. That you got at Costco. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and it nestles in the bigger one for like when you're allowed to go on a longer vacation. Right. Right. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. I'm just concerned about you. I'm concerned about your back. My shoulder. <laughs> I, like, I feel like the cost of this other bag with wheels on it we're talking about. What am I supposed would, to do? Well, but the good thing about it is it's either that or pay for the chiropractor. Which <laughs> one's it going to be, Nikki? I don't know. Like, I have a laptop instead of a desk computer, so I have to carry it around. I got a lunch bag because I like my breakfast and my snack. And I got my purse, so I don't know what else. Maybe you just need, like, look at me. I got a backpack. Anybody? You just need to convert to the, a backpack. Anybody like some internship hours? No. <laughs> Would you like to become my bag? <laughs> no. That'd be degrading. <laughs> Just carrying them all. You're my carry-all. You're helping to carry them, and I'll teach you a lot while we walk. Assistant, okay? <laughs> you're my assistant. Wow. Not only are you already awake, but you're listening to The Riot. Your day is off to a pretty rough start. The Riot on Radio U. I, we're speaking of bags and things that we feel like we need to bring. I need to be more like Nikki. Okay, I brought my food, which means... Doesn't mean I'm eating it, but it's there. <laughs> but it means that you <laughs> thought through your day mm-hmm. and you prepared food, which means the night before you were getting yourself ready for today. Because, like, today I went to the gym and McDonald's. Like, this is not... Oh, you canceled each other out. <laughs> it's an no, even. Probably, probably not even a break even, oh, honestly. Oh, you think it's a negative below it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, not, not good. Depending on what you got and what you did. Chicken McGriddle. Yeah, yeah, I don't That's, I don't know if the workout no. was enough. No, no, no. Didn't even come close to making up for it. Um, but, you know, I, if we go through our bags, we're also going to see different priorities of what we might have. Like, if you came and got in my backpack, like, I'm DJing a party tomorrow night. My backpack will reflect that. I've got some extra cables in there because I don't trust the people that touch our equipment to not take the cables. <laughs> you want to make sure you have them just in case that they go somewhere. Just in case there's a problem. And that's because you've gone places where they there's been a problem. There's been a problem. So there's that. That's one. Two, you'll find uh, various kinds of medicines. Cold medicines. You never know. Stomach medicines. <laughs> or something might pop what, up. Just whatever, right? <laughs> okay, so I've got that. Then, of course, you'll find my laptop. You'll find a pair of headphones. Yeah. Because, hey, I'm a DJ. On the air and off the air. I got to be ready at any moment to put my headphones on, right? But this morning, I was thinking about maybe like another thing that I could use. And that was, you know, what about a, an extra controller we could just throw in the bag? So like, just in case you're somewhere and uh, you think, you know, I got 20 minutes. I'm going to play a game or something. And you just... Uh, you you want to know something honestly? What? I thought you had one in there. Because, you know, you would go around and use... The uh, connector thing. Yeah. Not like Stadia, but the one where you could use your laptop to play yes. a console game. Uh-huh. And so I assumed you carried a console controller with you. Because <laughs> sometimes you can even use that on your phone. Oh, no, I know. And I, oh, man, the deal is closed. I saw, I had an email this morning, like an Xbox wireless controller for 30 bucks. And I was like, I don't need that. But I was like, yeah, but what if you could have a bag controller? Ooh. It's just in your bag. <laughs> and at any moment, if you're just like, I got some time. And if only I had a controller. <laughs> Are we supposed to be saying this to ourselves? It's pathetic. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like. Some people are preparing. Nikki is preparing food for her body, for longevity, for feeling good, for taking care of herself. And I'm like, gosh, what if there's a free five minutes and I could be playing a game? I could have a work controller. I could, yeah, I could have a work controller. I feel like that one could be like a used one that you find someone's just selling. Or 
you know, this, deal. Uh, that was a deal and it was a good deal. And I was just like, man, that's a great idea. Are controllers still that much money? They are. Uh. Like you really have to catch them on sale because they're 50 or 60 bucks, which I, I think it's ridiculous. Well, then 30 is a deal <laughs> and I you think, missed it. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. Oh, well, you know, there's, if there's room, you can <laughs> fill the bag more. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Is it? Is it fine? You know what's really great is I can put it in there, and then I have at home, I have this, like, controller case that it could go in. So I don't have to worry about the controller getting damaged in any way. Nope. That seems smart. It'll be fine. (laughs) Go find that deal. Okay. It's got to still be around. It's got to be out there. (laughs) If it's louder than it has to be and way worse than it has any right to be, it must be the worst of the riot. On Radio U. Let's talk about this terrible, terrible thing that we can all laugh about that happened at a Chuck E. Cheese. Now, the incident took place in December, but the lawsuit was filed this week. Mm-hmm. And you're like, it's it's like a beer and fighting thing, huh? Because that's what always happens at Chuck E. Cheese. Disappointment combined with those pitchers. And then and a pretty poor pizza showing. Uh, that's actually not it. There's a woman, Ashriana Scott. And she, man, she had a moment at Chuck E. Cheese, dude. Well, we all sometimes do. Just maybe not at Chuck E. Cheese, but there's a day when you have a moment. She had a moment. I've had a lot of moments at Chuck E. Cheese, but not like this. So she's feeding the tickets into the machine. Yeah. And all of a sudden she's like, ah, ah! The ticket machine started eating her hair. No. Dude. Do you get stuff? Do you get points? <laughs> do you get points with it? That's the real, real? question, isn't it? Because I know it? a lot of Chuck E. Cheese's, the they don't have tickets anymore. It's all like. Yeah, it's all on a card. It's or all cards, right? but maybe this one's uh, still got the ticket machine. That's what Dave and Buster's does. Dude, I, I went in and played the Kung Fu Panda rhythm game. I cleaned up on, like, I walked away with, like, stuff. Because apparently I was good at that game. You found a game. I did. <laughs> um. But it started eating her hair. Aww. I all I can, I can't stop thinking about the moment. And you've got to understand that the moment was so fast that she probably didn't get a chance to really reflect in that moment. But there's that moment where you feel your head getting jerked and you don't know what's happening. And then it is very shortly followed by. Oh my gosh, it's eating my hair. Did it rip it out or what did it do? Uh, I don't know. She was stuck in it for 20 minutes. Uh, She had a hard time getting people to come and help her. Getting it out. Yeah. Oh, Um, and then they have to cut it. Not your hair. Well, it didn't say (laughs) if they cut it or what. It says they freed her. How do you think that is? They cut the hair. She was stuck in it for 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, they probably did. (laughs) Nothing worse than when you get like a tangle. You're like, there's no way to save it. We got to cut the hair. <laughs> Just got to go. Oh, and then, you know, this happened on a on a Monday night. And the manager at Chuck E. Cheese, let's keep in mind, I don't know if this is true, but, you know, he always takes Mondays off because weekends are big. Yeah. So Monday's like his down day. And it's uh, it's like the, it's a call. He's the afternoon. He's just trying. He's just trying to rest. Being a Chuck E. Cheese manager is hard. He's got his feet up. He's watching Judge Judy. He hears they're canceling it. It's his favorite show. And, <laughs> and then his phone rings. The phone rings, and <laughs> it's somebody telling you that someone's hair is stuck in the ticket machine. <laughs> Aww. Poor lady. I don't know. Cut it off. Well, that probably was the response. Don't call me. It's my he, day off. He would have had to have had a little bit more compassion than that. Of course. If, if that's your tone. Oh, my gosh. It's... So she's safe, though? Uh, yeah, and she's suing Chuck E. Cheese. But, okay, here's the, what's interesting is this is the kind of lawsuit that's like an actual lawsuit and not the big bucks. Like, you think she would sue for $100 billion. She's suing for $1,000. Oh, that's fine. And she wants them to have to do what? Buy her hair extensions? She wants them to have to install signs. Well, that's that's it. She Be careful wants, of your hair. She wants signs up that say that warn people that fr- their hair could get eaten by the ticket machine. Listen, that's not a frivolous lawsuit at all. It's that actually, actually seems not. just fine. 
You shouldn't even fight that, Chuck E. Cheese. Just pay it to her. Chuck E. Cheese is like, can we just settle out of court? Oh, but... I would have been screaming, like, thinking, does it suck you in? Is it like... That's what I'm talking about. That horrific moment, because here's what you think. You're... I, I don't know how long it lasts. It might be just a second. But for a second, down in your instincts, you think it's going to eat you. Yeah, pretty much. You have for a moment the terror that you're going to be eaten. You're thinking about your face being. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, All right. All right. Stop. Like, no. And everybody there is seeing. I don't want to die. And that's where it, it happens. I died in <laughs> Thankfully, a again, machine. they they freed her. She's fine. So it didn't get that bad. <laughs> no, but in her mind, she had a moment. I know she went there. She had true. She did. She had true terror. It may not have lasted. That's why you give her a thousand dollars. Here's a thousand bucks and and some extra tickets. <laughs> Maybe the riot would sound better if they spent less time improving their lives at their gym. That was sarcasm. It's the riot on Radio U. Everybody's wait. Did you see that Julia just texted? And oh others, my yeah. You guys. Julia, Jen, maybe Tiffany, like... I, I'm sorry, walking cliches, but all the girls are waking up and asking about Nikki's shoes. Uh, yesterday, we had a real long <laughs> heart-to-heart, didn't we? We did. We, we did. Were, and it got posted, if you go to Radio You Riot on our Facebook page, uh, you can it. talk about it there. But I was telling Obi yesterday about this new Crocs and Peeps collab, you know, like the Marshmallow Peeps mm-hmm. and Crocs the Shoes. And he took that as, well, I must want a pair of Crocs. No. Not necessarily the... No. Well, I am fascinated by them, I think. That's Are they that comfortable? It starts. <laughs> it, you, it, you know, from your perspective, you just keep seeing them and seeing them. From my perspective, that's like the third Crocs things you've sent me in like the last two or three weeks. Now I'm seeing a pattern develop. <laughs> I just want to try one on. And the way you talk about them has changed over the course of the weeks to the point where you, what you just said, I want to try one on. I want to try one on, but I I still think they are not, you know, style wise what I would gravitate towards. But it just is fascinating we to me. We had so many text messages from people yesterday that said that they didn't like the way they looked. They were even anti-croc. And then when they put them on, they were like, I'm keeping these. I don't care. Because they're supposed to feel nice. But then so I've, heard, I've heard other people who say that they hate how they feel. I just, I don't know. I don't know why they won't go away. So with us talking about that yesterday, everybody naturally assumes I went and bought a pair. <laughs> and you want to know all about it today. Well, Julia and Jen and others, thank you for texting and hanging with us. But Nikki did not buy Crocs yesterday. I did not. In fact... I didn't think about them the rest of the day. Really? It's only when I'm here. (laughs) Only when I'm in this room. The only time I experience any pain and suffering is here. And I feel like the Crocs might alleviate that. It's like when you shop online or if you're looking at all this gaming stuff in the morning and it's all fun and fancy and you're like, I'm going to go buy something. Apparently that works the same way with me and Crocs when I'm sitting here doing this job that I my mind wanders to. Well, I should try them. <laughs> Jason says she wants your approval to get them. You know what, Nikki? <laughs> do I need it? Nikki, I I approve. You do? I approve if that's what you want to do. Jason, I don't know if that's exactly what's holding me back. Nathan says Crocs are for nurses and babies on the beach. Well, Nikki that's is cute. neither. <laughs> Boy, Nathan, that was a that was a strong dismissal, bro. Yeah, it's a no, so I don't have Nathan's approval. You know what? If Nikki wants to be a baby on the beach, she then can I'm be. going to be who a baby you? on the beach. First off, who are you to tell Nikki she's not a baby? If she is a baby and she wants to be a baby, then she's a baby. And I feel like I'm on the beach, so I'm going to have the shoes that go with it. That's right. Like, just because her body has betrayed her doesn't mean she's not a baby. Well, no one else needs to ask me today. I mean, you don't have to. I have not bought any yet. Okay. Well, so then should we ask tomorrow? No, you don't. I I told someone else, I was like, well, if I do ever get them, I'll be found out and we'll talk about it during the show. Yeah, you're not going to be able to keep that a secret. Just come in quietly. Very quietly because they don't make a lot of noise. (laughs) But I'm sure they'll they'll make make like a squeak. They'll make different noise in my shoes. So maybe you would notice. I think that you and I should go crock shopping in a Riot Skips Work video. 
That's what I think we should do. Mm-hmm. Is there, okay, you know the big mall they build up, whatever? Sure. It's an outlet mall. Do they have a Crocs outlet? I don't know. Because I was at another outlet, outlet mall where they had a Crocs outlet. We used to have a Crocs store, but I, I don't know if that's even a thing still. Crocs store. I'm Googling it right here. Here's Crocs.com. Perhaps I could put in our zip code and they can help us find the nearest location. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Email but then if sign not, up. They're, they're everywhere. Oh, look, it says right here. Come as you are. Now that sounds like Crocs. Just don't sounds like worry. A croc. <laughs> don't worry about what you look like. You don't, don't even need to look. I don't want to know. Okay, I don't uh, want to know. Sh- store? No, we're finding a store because you and I are going Croc shopping. Or there, Nikki. There is one. It opens at ten a.m. It's right over there. There is one. <laughs> it's four point two three miles away it's from this so studio. Close. Great. There are. Excuse. This can't be right. This says there are twenty three stores near us. Twenty three stores. They've got to be like authorized retailers. Yeah, I think they have okay, a deal yeah, with like Walmart like, and stuff. Because right, this is like famous footwear. No, that's not a Croc store. Okay, guys, I want the real deal. You want it all. And there is a <laughs> legit. Location like At the mall re- right there. Mm-hmm. That's too bad. You and me, Nikki. Mm-hmm. Shoe shopping. Yeah, it's meant to be. You can get a pair too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. And the riots buying. I want. Can I, do you guys have some American flag ones? Of course oh, you do. Gosh. Of course you He's do. He's gonna pick some gaudy ones. <laughs> it was bad enough the first time around, but now it's worse. Don't believe us? Just keep listening. You'll find out soon enough. This is the Worst of the Riot Podcast. You find yourself in a relationship where you've all but broken up, right? Man, I had one of those where you're just like... (laughs) It's really just a formality at the end. Right. And then, like, it was like she was avoiding me. I was like, look, I'm just trying to break up here. Well, that's why she was avoiding you. So I wrote her a letter and stuck it to her door. I was just like, did she? Is she's the reason? I mean, like you were hey trying. Man, I'm trying to serve papers, and you're running away. So I just left him on the door. She was so mad at me, and I was like, "Look, if you would have returned my phone calls, but oh, that might be one of the reasons we're breaking up." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Wait. You know what? We're way off track here. Yeah. Right? So what else is there? Uh, well, Nikki, I have since uh, the middle of December. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have been in a relationship with AMC Stubbs A-List. Yeah, And I want you to know, this relationship started out great. Uh, went to a few movies, got to get moved to the front of the popcorn line. The one time you went to concessions? They have a, like a first class line for Stubbs A-List members. And my friends were like, "That they no, they don't. And I was like, I'll see you in there, suckers. <laughs> Whatever. Was that, how many times did you use that feature? Well, that feature only one time. One time. All right. That's right. And how many movies did you see? Three. Three since early December? Yes, which means that I paid $20 for each ticket. (laughs) In many wise, it didn't seem to work out. You were planning on going to more movies, and you just didn't. You know what? It just hasn't worked out, and uh, I don't know. I thought you were supposed to break up with them last month. I man, don't aren't you having a relationship and you just really want it to work? Like you want it to. Like you imagine how gr- you imagine how great the relationship's going to be, and you remember the good times mm-hmm. because I've been a Stubbs A list member before, and it was great. Like I enjoyed it so much. But you went a lot more then. Exactly that. Yeah, and then if you break up with them, you have to wait six months till you're allowed back in. Yeah. So just break up with them, though. Which, I mean, is good for them, though, because they're just like, you know what? I'm not going to be abused. All right? If you if you want back in, you have to change. All right? So I'm going to give you six months to change. But don't you see, you come back. you're like the one girl who was avoiding you and just not dealing with it. You're not dealing with it. Oh, but they're going to beg me not to break up with them. Yeah. They, do you know what they make you do? They make you call or I think have a customer service chat. Why? Like you can't just unsign up. You have to like directly engage with them. Why did you sign back up with them then? You knew I thought this. I, no, I thought I, I thought it was going to be different this time. That's okay, what we always say. I thought it was going to be different. Uh, I I feel like I had changed and maybe they had changed and it was going to be it was going to be perfect. All right, it's not, and it's 
I don't even know why you did. I'll tell you, actually, I can give you like the bold faced true answer. Do you want the real true answer or do we just want to stop here? Are we just lying to each other? It's no, up I to want you. the real answer. The real answer was this is that your depression for me is worse during the winter. Mm-hmm. I love going to the movies. And so the last two winters, I have signed up for this movie thing and had, uh, I really, they say to find something that you really enjoy. Yeah. And even if you don't want to, to make yourself do it. And for two years, I've done that. And this year, I couldn't seem to make myself do it. I couldn't. And well, so, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because you've had sort of a return to a renaissance of your video game playing. It could and maybe be. that took the place of that. There wasn't a lot of movies. It really wasn't your fault. <sighs> Pretty poor showing in that. You know what I think? I think it's, I, I don't think we should go into this breakup placing blame. Well, you need to because you need to be done no, with them. But I'll tell you this. Now, guys. Nobody get mad at me, but how badly do I want to go into this phone call or chat and tell them that I'm canceling because of the coronavirus? <laughs> Don't do because that. listen, you can't go to the movie. Let me anymore. tell you. Let me tell you what. Right now, that's the thing they can't argue with me about because I almost want to get in an argument with the customer service person about how bad it is. Are you going to? And can I hear the phone don't call? Don't you want to? Yeah, They're why like, don't you? I want them to be ready to be like, sir, with a mortality rate that's more like 2%, and currently looking at the number of cases in the United States, not going we to. feel that you're perfectly safe in coming to AMC theaters to enjoy up to three films a week. I think you should, because they won't They won't come back at you. They'll just that's, cancel it. It's the easy out. <laughs> Your mind it? is something. Your mind is absolutely something. Oh, man. Oh. I've, already, I've already imagined the great conversation we can have. Will the real phone call, you know, live up to It'll that? It'll never live up to it. I guess we'll get an update tomorrow. Are you going to cancel after the show? I think I'm just going to do it right now. You I'm just gonna, Yeah, because you wait forever on the chat anyway. You're going to do right? that. Well, Might as well just. If you don't mind doing it, though, please. Yeah, sure. Cancel. The only morning show brave enough to say that Chicken McNuggets are part of a balanced breakfast. (laughs) The Riot on Radio U. What did I tell you that we were going to talk about aside from that breakup? Why you should stop doing laundry. That's it. You should just stop. And I'll tell you why. Because if you continue to do laundry, you are risking a fire. A fire? That's right. Why do we have to risk that? Exactly. Pull the why, water put you, it out? Why do we have to risk that? <laughs> Therefore, why do we have to do laundry? We're done. Now, I think it was last year was all the rage or maybe the year before of like never wash your jeans. Yeah. You know, we were told we're not supposed to wash them. You steam them in the shower. You just do whatever, but just don't actually wash the things. Uh, so now put what it in are, the freezer. What are they saying with our clothes? Well, here's the thing, Nikki. Have you ever heard of Canada? They really want to be the 51st state, but we won't let them. And it's things like this, I think. Uh, There was a fire in Charlottetown uh, in which they were trying to figure out, like, where did this fire come from? Why is there fire? So they sent in a fire inspector. And he was like, yep, you got a fire, eh? And afterwards, he determined that it was, this is crazy. Uh, that they had just done the laundry. Was it the lint trap? No. I thought that too. (laughs) I thought that too. Because I never, like when you leave, you're not supposed to like let your dryer go. Just let it go? Well, no, like when you leave, you're supposed to turn it off. Yeah. So they, it was not the lint trap. They pulled the clothing out of the dryer Mm -hmm. immediately. The dryer? Yeah. And then they took that clothing out of the dryer and they say it was packed real tight. And they put it on the couch Then someone opened the door, and they say the influx of oxygen with the heat contained in the clothing led to a flare-up. Really? And boom, apartment fire. Spontaneous combustion of laundry. That's possible? What are the chances of that? Must be really small. I don't have statistics, but I do know that I'm no longer doing laundry because it's not safe. Now, you could say you could still wash your clothes, but you shouldn't use the dryer. What, air dry them? Yeah, just hang them up. Okay, sure. You know, like we all have space for that. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I, you know what? I've been thinking about installing some clothes lines. Yeah, inside your house. And so, 
<laughs> well, this is the perfect time, isn't it? It's a great time Seems to do like it. Seems like the right time, the safe time. <laughs> it's the safe time. Or you just walk around until they dry. You know, well, you're just wet. <laughs> here's the other thing in reading this. The uh, fire inspector <laughs> revealed why, in reality, I never have to be concerned. He said, you know, basically, if you're afraid this is going to happen... After the dryer is done, you just leave the clothes in the dryer for a while to cool off. Problem solved. <laughs> we never take them I, out. Uh, we don't I even get them out of the, the washer under the dryer. I typically, if I manage to get the clothes into the dryer at all, um, I like to wait several days. <laughs> just before, to be safe. Just to be safe before removing them from the dryer. See, so, we actually thought this was going to be an issue, but that right there made it really safe. I don't know anyone that immediately removes clothing from the dryer because they're better than me. And I like to hang a lot of my clothes, like all, all my shirts I, and I stuff. I hang my T-shirts because up. Because we yeah. don't like when they shrink. Yeah. So we got to save our shirts. Yeah. The SOS campaign. <laughs> so there you have it, friends. I. I appreciate you telling us the story, but I feel like at the end of it, there really is no worry. Right. So I, I was a little concerned at the well, start, but it's actually nowhere near how we do our laundry. I was trying to sell it in such a way that we wouldn't have to do laundry again. But once the question started, I mm. had to answer them honestly. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were one of the lucky few who missed the riot when they were live. Yet here you are. I also like to live dangerously. This is the worst of the riot podcast. They call it the envelope system. I don't know if you know what it is, but uh, it wasn't invented by Dave Ramsey, but it was popularized by him among certain circles. And the idea is like you get paid and in order to not overspend, you take that money in cash and you put it in these envelopes. And once the mo- the envelope is empty, mm-hmm. you don't have any more money for that category. Now, I know you're like us. You're like the cash app. No, no, no like no, no. actual cash. Like, And it's, it's revolutionary because who handles cash anymore? But that's the idea. It's so old school that it became new school to yeah. use cash again. Well, the idea is you're used to... Just numbers. Mm-hmm. So I think part of the idea is like, hey, w- instead of just being like, ah, just a, it's just another number. Who cares? This shows you that like, hey, this is a physical resource. It's an actual thing. And when it's gone, even if you have more, don't. So like if you spend 50 bucks on your credit card, you don't really feel it. But right. if you have it and you're physically spending the $50 and you're giving them the bill, you feel that it. hurts you a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there's something to it, but there is, I feel sometimes a a reverse effect that can take place. And that is, you know, guys, I have a PlayStation 5 envelope that I've been stuffing cash in. And I am now, depending on what the price of the PlayStation is, I'm either $50 away mm-hmm. or $150 away. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens when they <laughs> announce the price of it. But that means I have to hang on to that cash until... November. Now, see, you don't, though. Why don't you just deposit it? And then it could be making a little, uh, a tiny bit, but making something. You could make up to one extra penny on Woo! that money. But have you, you know, thought, have you thought about it? Why aren't you removing the temptation? You don't have to keep it in an envelope the entire time. You can still take it and deposit it. That's actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Then it's away because from you, the temptation. I, keep, I, I have spent that money a hundred times. I'm like, you know... We could get this. We could get this. <laughs> or I do you have? The, do you have like a safe? Uh, at your you know, house? I'm, it's so hard to get to. It's not even worth. It's it. not even worth it. No, I think the idea. <laughs> I think you're probably right. I should take it to the bank, so that way I can't spend it. Mm-hmm. Because take it away. There's no way to spend money that's in the bank. Well, it's harder. It's, it's easier. Least, no, it's not. No, like you, no. Don't you have like you're a, a couple of clicks away? <laughs> See, I have two. I have a checking account, and then I have a savings account. Yeah, me too. So, so what? You, just, tra- you just transfer it out of the I savings account. I know you account. can. <laughs> I know you can. All right, fine. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm t- I'll tell you what it is. I have a problem, okay? <laughs> Here, I have a gun safe at home, so why don't you put I'll it- I'll give you the money. We'll put it next to it where the gun is, and we'll put them right next to each other, and then you know you can't touch it. Like, you're not allowed to play with the gun. You're not and allowed you to spend the money. you can't play with your money. You gotta leave it there. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at. I, like, I have looked at- The other thing we got it. we gotta stop these, uh, what do you call them, deal of the day things. We gotta well, stop. Stop looking at because them. Because I looked at, dude, there's this AMD Ryzen processor, and I was like, man, I could- I could upgrade my computer. You don't even know. You don't even know. 
And then it's like, yeah, but this fall you'll be so disappointed. And I'll be like, I'll sell blood. <laughs> you can't. You donate that. You'll sell. I'll steal from people. No, you won't. It won't matter. Just put it I'm somewhere just... you're not going to touch it. You want you want me to hide it until then? And then we uh, can both forget? Hide it under a bush? Oh, no, Nikki. No, I meant... I want to let it shine. I'm going to hide your PlayStation money. Oh, you just fine. close your eyes, and I won't tell you where it's at in the studio. <laughs> okay? It's somewhere in here. You come back, and I've ripped all, all the, the soundproofing top. off the walls. <laughs> just trying to get to it. Like, I know it's in here. But I won't tell you until the PlayStation comes out. You can't hide it from me. Listen, do you want to fix this problem or you want I, it to still be a temptation? I don't know, but I wanted us to talk about it. I have problems and you guys are supportive. But it's because you're looking at these sites every day. Stop looking at them. Be content. Can't, I can't do that, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that what he says? Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Can't do that. All right, never mind, because then that could extend to not even buying the new PlayStation. You're listening to The Riot. Let's all work together today to live life with the patience of a Nikki dealing with an Obadiah. Gotta hang in there and get through it. You're listening to The Riot. So I was joking, kind of, about the fact that I'm trying to save money for a PlayStation, but it's going to be like eight months of me just having this money. Maybe even longer. There's still plenty of time to push that back. You do Who realize knows? that. Who knows? And you know the reason why. Oh <laughs> my gosh. That'll be the reason. Mostly because production on certain items have taken a hit with the coronavirus because All they're right. not there to build it. Fine, I'm upgrading my computer. Forget it. So you, there is something to wondering. Will if it'll all that actually stuff, come out? Yeah, and you're like, well, yeah, but that's in the fall, but that stuff's being built now. So <laughs> just put a did I just put a problem there? I don't know. I well, you know what? My computer's five years old. I've been thinking about upgrading it. So there, this is still a possibility. Maybe you could always wait on the PlayStation. But that, could you use the other thing? That being said, yeah. Nikki, uh, I do want to highlight the fact that some of you guys had great ideas about ways to save your money. So not for, like how to save up money, but if you have money to spend, he's got the cash and he right. doesn't want to go ahead and spend it on something else. So you guys had some great ideas about how to not do that. Like for example, put Keith, it in the bank. Well, but no, listen to <laughs> Keith's idea. Yeah. He says, I've got a savings that's an entirely separate local bank on a passbook account, which means that he physically has to take the book to the branch to get the money. He says that you gotta prevents, go to the bank. He says that presents 95% of his impulse buys. Oh, yeah, because you you wouldn't be able to get us to go back to even get the money. You know, that's what he says. I'm putting my laziness to good use for a change. Mm -hmm. Now, that that's somebody that knows. Someone right else there. said you could uh, draw yourself a map and dig it and, like, bury it. But I'm a little worried about that. I responded that maybe we should just, you could freeze it in the... You know, with a freezer. That's not a bad one. You could do that. People have done it before. Zach says, take the money to the bank and exchange it for rolls of quarters. No, he'll still spend that. <laughs> well, but he is right. <laughs> if you have all those quarters, that's going to be harder to spend. No, because then your little soda thing will become a bigger problem because you're suddenly just having all these quarters. You're just like, you know what? It's just some quarters. And then before you know it, you blew through your entire thing and you drank it all away. <laughs> So that's the problem with quarters. Okay. I love that. <laughs> I just want you to know. You're like, why do you have a new vending problem addiction? <laughs> I love that. Uh, Eric said it's better to feel the money physically in your hand, and mm. it's your right. Uh, okay, I think that's all I got right there. Uh, Brandon says PC Master Race. Brandon, I know who you are, and I know what you're like, and I know <laughs> what you're trying to do. Just to try to get him to sway to get that. Zach says, "Get pennies. It's bad. <laughs> They're well, in that's bags." That's even worse. No thanks. We don't you like. We don't like change. I actually like. I'm kind of. I'm going to think about it. I really have been thinking about the like. Hey, would you rather have a PlayStation or just do a computer upgrade? And so, unfortunately, I saw something last night where I was like, you know, 
Maybe that one. It's all within reach. Problem solved. You're not saving the money anymore. You're just spending it. No problem. But it is going for something, you know, it works. Well, it's going back into the gaming economy. Yeah, Nikki. you're you're just bringing it back. You're investing again. Are you familiar with the gaming economy? I am. It's an important thing for all of us. And either way, even if you get this or you get the PlayStation, it's all still the gaming community. It's all economy. Economy. Yeah. You know, you you keep you keep putting money into it. And then money keeps coming back to you. No, uh, just no, kidding. No, that's not it. That, uh, In fact, you don't make any of it back. That never happens. You might be thinking that this won't be quite as bad the second time around. Well, you'd be greatly mistaken. We're listening to the worst of the Riot Podcast. So what do you want to talk about, Nikki? I don't know. What do you want to? Have you ever had a plant that you've loved and taken care of? Uh, with my dogs, I can't seem to keep a plan oh for the gosh, life of me. That's right. Even my Dude, cat. You, it's you really did, bad. Did you Instagram those? Uh, yeah, but I don't share you, all of it. <laughs> you guys need to, to a, see some I'm, of the pictures of Nikki's plant fails. I moved to a house where I had like some better sunlight, and I thought, oh, I, I would always want to have a lot of plants, but they would just never live. And then I got plans, and then they didn't live because I got puppies around the same time. And, man, they would just eat those plants, and they still do, no matter what I do. Are you saying that you've given up? No, I I have a plan um, in my office. Eric's going to get me those lights, you know, that maybe people in the past used for other plants. You can use them now to grow. Are you getting ready to start your own marijuana operation in your basement? It's really popular to use it for your house plants, real ones, not like code word, uh, because, you know, like succulents became so popular and all that. Does anybody else feel like one? Like, I'm here's what's going to happen tonight. I'm going to go home. I'm going to turn on my TV and I'm going to see Nikki's face. And she is. And you're like, you mean in a news report because she's arrested? No. Because she's going to become the new face for legalized marijuana and growing at home. No, it's just my little plants. Hi, I'm Nikki from Radio U. No. Most of you wonder, how on this earth am I able to handle working with Obadiah every day? Well, the secret's out. The secret's out. Uh, <laughs> I'm a huge pot smoker. No, and that is wrong to just say out loud. <laughs> So you used to tease that I smoked when I'm I didn't. I'm a huge pot brownies eater. No, because <laughs> the calories can't even handle that. No, I really I'm like a huge pot vapor. I really like house plants. That's it. Okay. Shut up about the grow stuff. I have some peace lilies. Got a couple cactus things. Really like them, but they keep getting eaten, and they knock them over. Yeah. And they just chew the little the ends of them. Yeah. So it's fine. You know what it's gonna be. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Up so what a, about I, this? I'll tell you what. I'm going to go refill this coffee cup. Okay. And when I come back. You're going to tell me a story? <laughs> Nikki, it's going to be story time. Okay. So why don't you grab your blankie and I'll get this coffee and uh, we'll just not snuggle but sit on opposite sides <laughs> of the desk as is appropriate and I'll tell you this story. Doesn't that sound like an awesome plan, everybody? Awesome. <laughs> is it healthy eating so many snacks, chips, and Oreos every single morning? No, of course not. But they do it for you. Uh, too many guys got their stomach for this line of work. That's real love. It's the riot on Radio U. Ooh, Nikki, I have an answer to all of your pot pro- I mean, plant problems. What are the answers? <laughs> Even though when I saw this story, I don't think it's real. That, I okay. really don't think it's real. It I... even feels written in a... Babylon onion way. Yeah. So I don't know. The Babylon onion. You know, it's in a, a parody sort yeah. of way. Okay. I, this story it's a is, bunion. it's been out. <laughs> that's perfect. That is so perfect. It's a bunion story. It's a Babylon Bee onion story. Okay. So this story is about a woman who she has spent the last two years watering this succulent, which is Have apparently. Have you never heard that term before? I've heard people talk about like meat oh, or so like it's like food. So is it's this, succulent. Isn't that the term? It's a cactus. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I guess it sucks up the moisture then. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Well, um, she's been watering it for the last two years and has just been amazed at how perfect and beautiful and awesome it is. And she went to repot it because she wanted to keep it alive, but she wanted to put it in a new pot so it looked nicer. And that's when she discovered that it was fake. I love the story. But again, with how it was written and where it's coming from, I think it's like the mirror that it's coming from. 
Is I, it? I feel like it. I don't know if I believe it. Well, I looked at it. <laughs> I could see someone doing that, though. Oh, absolutely. But the reason we haven't talked about it up until this point is that I've been like, this is not real. We're going to end up pulling a the the um, Ed Sheeran story from oh. last week, <laughs> where it's not real. It was not a real story. We thought it was the, we thought it was hilarious. Well, it was what fake do we news. Learn from this, okay? If you do want plants, then you have to realize. Well, do you want real ones or are fake ones? Just fine. Oh my gosh! I feel like we just got sucked into the velveteen rabbit. You know, do you <laughs> want to be alive but imperfect, or or do you want to be perfect but there's no life there? No, it just means you don't have to take care of it. Well, I mean, to okay, and that's not our strong, <laughs> strong part here. See, you and I are coming at this from a different angle. I would bring plants into my house, not for the aesthetic reasons, but so that they would renew the oxygen and different things they would be good for. Um, but you see Mine's them. aesthetic, yeah. yeah. So. Mine's pathetic. <laughs> no, I actually think mine might be pathetic. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's land on we're pathetic. No, it's fine. It's a group thing. And we can just, can just move on. So the lady, uh, that was the whole story. Yeah. Just two years. She She's thought it was. has been watering a plant for two years. Whether it's a real story or not, lesson can be learned from it. Remember, the story is real. Is it factual? It, cont- <laughs> it contains. With it. it contains facts. Good call. Did these are these facts based in reality? Reality is something we create, right? See, do you see where this begins to go? Uh, too much education leads to much suffering. If you missed out on the next riot moment when it originally aired, you don't know how lucky you are. You're listening to the worst of the riot podcast. Remember, uh, they're making a new Batman movie. That's a thing. Did you see the pictures? I did. That's what I want to talk about. Did you like them? Uh, well, we should explain pictures of like more of the new Batman costume. Uh huh. And the vehicle. The Bat- vehicle? I don't know come, what else. Come on. Come Batmobile? On. There we go. Yeah, I didn't know if that's what it's still called. Like, it's does that still, change? It's still called that, Nikki. It is. It's the Batmobile. And. Lots of breathing over there. I thought you would like it. I don't know what I think about it. They uh, keep saying it has brake lights. <laughs> it's a practical Batmobile. Oh, okay. It's going to follow the rules of the I'll road. I'll just tell you right now, Nikki. The Batmobile has an occasion to slow down. Yeah. It, actually, if you look at the Batmobile from the last Batman trilogy, it was like it didn't have brakes. It had a, what was it, like a... A line that it would shoot out and it would drag it around the corner. Um, so this has brakes. Um, I wonder if it has any turn signals. Who knows? Because even the Dark Knight has an occasion to be a conscientious driver. A lot like the changes with Bond. I mean, the franchise has Bat- to be practical and grow up a bit. This Batman's woke Batman. Yeah. He has uh, seat belts and he has. I wonder, like, it shows him. <laughs> an independent female driver. Mm-hmm. Um, no, he. It's. Funny thing about that is if you go back to the 60s Batman, which a year or two ago, I bought that Blu-ray set and watched almost all of it. I had a blast with that. Um, it In that show, like I think it's in the second season, I think, uh, all of a the sudden they very uh, conspicuously show Batman and Robin buckling their seatbelts. Because mm, they and had to? that is because they were receiving complaints that Batman and Robin don't wear seatbelts, and so kids didn't think they should have to wear seatbelts. Oh, my gosh. Even in the 60s, the media was controlling our minds. <laughs> well, that um, happens in stuff today. So, yeah, the new Batmobile. You know what? I think it looks okay. Uh, I, I'm i interested to see where they go with it. You know what? Like You I'm, seem guarded. Like, you don't want to be too hopeful, but, you know, just save it for closer till. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but to me, it mostly looks like a Dodge Charger, which I think Dodge Chargers are awesome. So, don't get me wrong. And it... I don't know. Looks cool. Uh, I, you know, you just kind of wonder, like, what is this Batman in for? Is this kind of like a more scaled back, scaled down, like Batman Year One or Batman Year Zero kind of thing, where he's he's just learning his stuff, uh, and so he just got an off the shelf charger and started like. Is he adding younger? To Did it? he just get his license? <laughs> Who knows? Like, what's his age supposed to be? I don't know, but that's what you do with Batman. They always. 
I mean, Batman v Superman was a different story, but like they almost always are like, hey, here's Batman. Let's watch him learn to be Batman. Oh, uh, I get you. So like he first learns of his stuff. Yeah. Like and then how the he's... process, it's a montage. Yeah. Of... I think Bond's Casino Royale, you know, where it's like, hey, we encounter him just as he's becoming a double O. Kind sure. Of thing. So I don't know, but I like, it looks cool. I, I'm not that excited about it, but you know what? Okay. I've blathered on enough. I'll just say this. It's, I think it's the smart choice because uh, as Batman v Superman doesn't even really count, um, you've got to come back from the last Batmobile we really saw aside from the, the Batfleck one was the Charger or the, is that what they called it? The the Rumbler, the Tumbler, the Tumbler. Tumbler. Um, I think going a little more down to earth is probably a better choice because you've already done something pretty crazy. Like, just give him a car. Sure. Okay. So when sure. does this come out? I don't know. New Batman stuff you don't know? Whatever. Now, that does not sound like Obadiah. Okay. <laughs> so when you keep saying whatever, then we're not getting the OB we want with Batman. Uh, you know what? I think Batman comes out next year. Next year? Okay. Yeah. I actually do think that, uh, I think the idea of like his Batman motorcycle looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, hey, I hope it's good. I, I, ro- I am rooting for one of the things that I think that the Marvel movies have done is they've become so overwrought. The idea of a kind of stripped down, more down to earth kind of take on Batman is probably it'd be good. It's probably good for the market. Sure. Are people really still listening to the riot? You don't have work to do or laundry to fold or literally anything else to do. The riot radio. You. I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why you probably shouldn't buy a new phone. Because when you do, you're going to find yourself more willing to buy crap for that phone. Well, your phone needs some new fun things. It sure does, <laughs> Nikki. So it's more tempting compared to when you hate your phone because you've had it for a while and you just want to trade it in. This phone sucks. I don't need it. <laughs> so it's a different attitude that we have with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's what I have, Nikki. In my hands, I am holding a an iPhone yeah. that has Castlevania Symphony of the Night in it. Symphony of the Night was a hugely popular game, I believe, for the PlayStation 1. And uh, here I am playing it on a phone. And you know what? It doesn't look bad. Castlevania? Yeah, I mean... So is that for the Netflix show, which was a game first? Okay, can we be clear that... Is it the same? The Netflix show is based on the game. Oh, the game, okay. The game is not based on the Netflix show. Well, I assume that. I just and wanted to make sure, was it the same thing? I didn't get Some people like it, some people don't like it. I don't know. Yes, there's a show on Netflix. I actually didn't, like, I watched a little bit of the first episode, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Well, the third season starts, so Does it? it's been so long, so it's fine. Well, here's, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I'm just the kind of person that I love technology and stuff and so i got my iphone 10 and yesterday just out of nowhere no announcements as far as i know they didn't say it was coming anything like that uh castlevania symphony of the night came to iphones and androids yesterday for three dollars how do you say no to three dollars look at that i spent the three dollars did you i just did it (laughs) i was just like you know what three dollars out of your playstation money (laughs) our earlier talk (laughs) um you know what it just you just spit it, it. You didn't it even just, think about I, it. I didn't even think about where it was coming from. I was just like, you know what? Three dollars. Your rolls in. of quarters. Let's do it. <laughs> you don't even care. Don't even care. Well, that's good. I mean, it's nice to have some fun games. Yeah. It. You know what? I. I guess I'm amazed by. I mean, how old's the PlayStation Two? Just turned twenty. So the PlayStation One's probably like what 30, 25, 30. I don't know. But you know, like that's something that back in the day you had to buy, like you would have a TV and you had to buy this thing. And like the game was probably 60 bucks. And here it is. I got it in my back pocket. It was three dollars, like whatever. Like, that's awesome. I think old school creators, I or just creators probably hate or like maybe despise that. I don't know. Or is it better because your product, you know, is actually getting to a bigger, wider audience? Think about it like this, Nikki. What if 20 years ago you did something mm-hmm. and baby Nikki drew a piece of art or something 
And all of a sudden, adult Nikki started getting $3. Here or there from for it. The, for something <laughs> that baby Nikki did 20 years ago. True. Adult Nikki would be like, yes. Send in the money. <laughs> I support this. Please send your money to adult right. Nikki, care of Radio U. Especially when it's older stuff that, uh, not Castlevania, but like... For other games, if it just weirdly becomes popular again, they weren't expecting any of that. <laughs> so depending on if they have the rights to it, they might see some more money. I mean, maybe not that bad. But it's a good looking game? Uh, you know what? I it Like it's old for sure. But I mean, like, it's kind of cool. I'm just, again, I, I realize it's probably nerdy, but I'm just like, dude, this whole game's just right here. For three dollars. For only three dollars. <laughs> I mean, and just to be clear, that's how you end up poor. Three dollars at a time. <laughs> that's how that happens. That, it's that's not tra- quick. That's transfer of wealth, people. <laughs> Worst of the riot podcast. Uh, you know, listen to the podcast today, and you'll hear me rant about getting frustrated with the internet. It happens. I can't help it. It's like uh, I'm slowly but surely going to turn into you know that meme from The Simpsons where it's like old man yells at cloud. That's, That's you. I'm like I'm headed slowly but surely in that direction. Well, um, it makes the show. But then you find something where you're like, oh, this redeems everything. <laughs> so what? There's still hope, guys. Is it canceled yet? Dot com. Someone made it. They did. So it's actually useful and also funny. Some of I, as long as you understand that some of them are in humor yes. and some are actually showing you if something is canceled or not due to the coronavirus. Right. And so you can scroll down and it'll say like Google I.O. Yes. That's been that's canceled. canceled. South by Southwest. No. No. Uh, Microsoft's build conference. No. WWDC. So far, no. That's the Apple's Worldwide Developers Com. The Olympics conference. for this summer, not yet. No. TED Conference gets an uh oh, which I believe is there, maybe. It's the that's been talking people have been talking about if it will. Okay. Uh GDC, the game developers conference, yes. Uh Coach, I like, I like Coachella. Coachella. Sadly, Sadly no. no. But again, this gets updated if they do start oh, canceling that more. That hurts, guys. What? Google Reader. Yes. <laughs> See, it's an old thing. Nobody knows what that is, but I was a <laughs> faithful Google Reader user. Well, they were saying like Chris Matthews. Yes. yes. Cuz he just got canceled. He did. Uh NAB? No. What wasn't that already happened? No, uh, that's in a few weeks. That green coat from Amazon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Adobe Summit. Yes. Doctors Without Borders. No. But you can donate there. Yeah. So, I mean, like, and it just goes on I and like on. Handshakes. Yes. That's been canceled. You're not supposed to shake hands. Hugs is under an uh-oh. And fist bumps are okay. Yeah. You know, I acquired some friends recently that I was never a fist bump guy. Yeah. But, like, they're, like they have a culture of fist bumping. Like, like they all, they're just like, they fist bump, bros fist or? Bump. <laughs> Are what, you in a group? That's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, uh, this is what bros Oh, do. you made new friends. <laughs> so like, this is what we do now. And like, everybody just fist bumping. Great. But I mean, you know what? That is, if you look, that's the recommendation. They're saying. Don't uh, shake hands. Don't just shake hands. Bump. You can fist bump. But they do like the OA on Netflix. Yes. Uh, you know what? I didn't watch any more of the OA. I watched that first episode. Which had a, it has a shocking moment in it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, but. is it canceled yet? Is the website again? Some of them are humorous. Others are actually showing you if a big conference sort of thing or festival has been canceled. Is the Louvre canceled? Yes, yes, that is. It's it's closed. Mm-hmm. Um, where were we? I think that was most of the main ones. We won't spoil all of them. You can look at the rest if you want. <laughs> but it would be a way for you to keep track. Is it canceled yet? Dot com. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy, huh? Through riot.radiou.com. Sir, with a mortality rate that's more like 2% and currently looking at the number of cases in the United States, not going we to. feel that you're perfectly safe in coming to AMC theaters to enjoy up to three films a week. <laughs> 